This video is going to focus on buffer solutions. So let's start with the definition of a buffer solution. A buffer solution is a solution that contains a weak acid and its conjugate base. Some of the examples of the weak acid, acetic acid and sodium acetate, HCN, NACN and HF and NAF. A buffer solution can also have a weak base and its conjugate acid. Example is ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. And a buffer solution, the, they resist the changes in pH even if you add small amount of an acid or base into it. So they help us to maintain the pH when you are doing some experiments. And uh, the important condition in a buffer solution is the acid or the base you are taking has to be a weak one. I can never get a buffer solution from a strong acid and uh, its conjugate base combination. Let's do uh, and find out how does the buffer solution maintains the pH of a solution. So let's consider a buffer solution made from 1 molar acetic acid and 1 molar sodium acetate. So in order to know that the pH doesn't change, we have to first calculate the pH of the solution. So set up the equation. Uh, sodium acetate uh, ionizes and therefore because of that the concentration of acetate increases. In therefore in this uh, ice table, we are starting with uh, 1.0 acetate uh, concentration and after I set up the ice table, substitute the values into Ka and I get the pH of the solution as 4.74. So in the coming slide, we will learn how the addition of acid and uh, base does not affect the pH of the solution. So let's see what will happen if I add some acid into the solution of sodium acetate and acetic acid. So let me add 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, a strong acid. And I know hydrochloric acid ionizes completely and therefore it will give me 0.1 hydrogen ion concentration and 0.1 chloride ion. And then what happens is I have the conjugate base acetate that will react with this hydrogen ion to give me acetic acid. And uh, the concentration of hydrogen ion is 0.1, therefore equal amount will react from acetate and I will get 1 molar acetic acid. So when I add acid into it, so the concentration of acetic acid uh, increases because all of the hydrogen uh, gets consumed and uh, a new equilibrium gets set up in the acetic acid equation. And uh, substituting it in the Ka values and then calculating the pH, I get the pH as 4.66. In the what the pH calculated earlier was 4.74 and therefore there is not much, this much change is acceptable. There is not much change after I add an acid. Otherwise, if there was not a buffer, you can imagine that the hydro, a strong hydrochloric acid would have shifted the pH to a much, much uh, smaller value. Now we will see the effect when I add a base into it. So I will add 0.1 molar NaOH, a strong base. And similar to the previous case, NOH, a strong base, ionizes completely and increases the concentration of hydroxide ion at by 0 0.1. So in this case, what happens? The weak acid, acetic acid, reacts with the uh, hydroxide ion and I get extra acetate ion as shown by the equations. So now this extra acetate ion uh, comes because of the addition of NaOH. So after uh, this hydroxide then will react with the uh, acetic acid and uh, after it reacts with it, I get 1.1 acetate uh, concentration. So set up the ice table again and uh, with the new values of acetate and the acetic acid and calculate the pH and the pH is 4.83 and when you compare it with the previous one, the pH has not increased very much and therefore otherwise if there was not a buffer, the hydroxide would have increased the pH to a much larger value than what we got. So this is the way a buffer maintains its pH for the small addition of an acid or a base. So what happens in actual practice? When strong acid is added to a buffer, the conjugate base of the weak acid reacts with the excess hydrogen ions and removes it. Thus it maintains the pH. Similarly, when I add a strong base, the weak acid which is present reacts with this excess hydroxide ions and removes it and therefore the pH remains the same. So therefore, it is a weak acid conjugate base combination of a buffer uh, in action. So that's the reason the acid has to be weak and then only the conjugate base 
a stronger one will react with the hydrogen ions to remove